Hi, this is Jim from Tech in the City, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart a clear Hub Express modem. So here we have a clear Hub Express modem, and the tools we'll be using to take this modem apart. We have, of course, a pliers here. We also have a tool here that will help us remove the tabs so we can open up the modem properly without breaking the uh, stand. And then a good set of tools as far as drivers. Okay, so when it comes to the Hub Express, the most common problem I hear about is that after they've pried open the bottom piece here, they've broken off the tabs on the inside and it no longer stays in the modem. And the, of course, that means that the modem will no longer stand up. So what you need to do is either get your fingernail or something, just start to pry it open there. But the trick is, if you look inside there, you see right there, there's a little black tab in there. What you need to do is find something thin, like this tool here. You're gonna go in there and push on that tab, and then it'll pop out. And essentially, you repeat the same thing on the other side. And by doing that, it pops out completely. And of course, now you turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. it. It comes right out. And of course you repeat the same thing at the top side of the modem. And that's it. It comes right out. So now that you have actually removed the top and the bottom, you can now pry open the side. Now the side that has the lights on it, that's the side you want to pry open first. And essentially you can just grab it and pull on it and it should come right off. Now on the other side, you can grab and pull on it, but the thing you have to remember is, oh, start from the top. Yes, it's easier, I found it's easier to pry it from the top. When you're pulling on this side, remember there's an antenna connector here, and on the other side of that is a wire. So you don't want to just pull it off, because if you do that, you're going to pull on the wire and you might actually break it. See that there? So now that you've removed this, you just leave it attached here, flip the modem over. When you flip it over, you'll notice that there's two screws over here. One over here, and one over here. Okay? So you're going to get a Phillips screwdriver and you're going to remove those screws. Very simple. That's one. And the second one. And of course, they're small screws there. So probably, I use a Phillips one, and that should do the trick. The next is going to be to pry this open. Pry it open. Just pull it apart like that should snap right open. But don't go and open it all the way because you'll notice that there's some wires attached. What you have here are the two wires connected to the Wi-Fi antennas. So we're gonna pull this one up. You notice this is the Wi-Fi antenna in here. Put this on the side. You notice that the other one goes through the board. You also notice that here, this wire comes across here and goes through a slot here. Now, the other Wi-Fi antenna is on the other panel, so we're gonna pull that apart. And now, we're gonna get another Phillips screwdriver again. And we're gonna take apart the four corners. You can see it there. I know I could have edited this and left out all this real mundane stuff, but I wanted you to see the whole process. So after you remove the four screws, a few things you want to do. One thing is to remove this tape, probably keep it in place. 
still attached to over here, on the, right on the other side of the board here. And as you lift this board up, you want to push this other Wi-Fi connector through. And as you lift it over, you're going to notice that you have some other wires connected. Okay, this one here has a black wire. It's labeled as antenna one or ANT one. This one here is labeled as ANT three, and this one here is ANT two. Now ANT three is what is connected to your external antenna port. So we can remove that. And then that way, we can get this out of the way. Put it on the side. Now, antenna one and antenna two, okay, sometimes when you're moving it around a lot, it will pop off by itself. They're actually fairly easy to come off. Okay, so antenna one is here, antenna two is here. The two antennas are built in to the Hub Express. Uh, let's see if I can get a good shot of this here. Okay, there you have antenna 1, antenna 3, and antenna 2. You'll notice that antenna 1 and antenna 3 share a circuit. And antenna 2 has its own circuit. So the question is, why is it that antenna 2 has its own circuit and antenna 1 and 3 share a circuit? As you recall, on the Clear Hub Express, there is a switch, and this is what there, that switch is. And you see it on the outside of the modem, and it has a disable and an enable position. So when it is in the disable position, which is the up position, essentially what it is is that it's enabling only the antenna one circuit. And when you switch it over to the enable, what happens is that the antenna three circuit gets enabled. So essentially all you're doing is switching between the internal antenna one when it's in disable and switching over to the antenna three circuit or connector when you click enable. And antenna two is always connected. In other words, one of the internal antennas is always on no matter what, okay? And that is why sometimes placement of the modem can help you by placing it somewhere where it can see the signal and at least contribute to some degree to the WiMAX MIMO circuitry. Another thing I wanted to cover in today's video was the antennas. Remember antenna one, and antenna two are here, one and two. They are built in to a separate PC board. The PC board can be removed, except keep in mind that here and here, they're heat fused or melted, so they're held in there very well. So if you're gonna remove it, you're gonna have to break those welds. And once you remove that, that might give you some room to add some extra external connect connectors. You can get another pigtail assembly like this, and then drill another hole on the side. And if you want to go up high, once you remove this board, that'll give you some room to do that. Some people have even looked at the idea of replacing the Wi-Fi antennas and putting external connectors on the side, say on either side, with Wi-Fi antennas sticking up or connected to other external Wi-Fi antennas. And it wouldn't be bad now because if you're no longer using this because you're connected to two external WiMAX antennas or you've taken the two uh, disconnected, you only use an external antenna, well then this doesn't have to be in here and you now have extra room to run those extra connectors and you could possibly improve your Wi-Fi capability as well by really altering the modem. Not something for everybody, but just something to plan in your head in case you wanted to do that. Now, the most important thing I really wanted to cover in this video was these tabs. And the reason why I really wanted to make this video is that I've seen so many modems come back from people who have 
gone in here with a screwdriver or something and pried this thing open only to break one or two of these tabs. Yeah, you could glue it back in and so forth, but then you can't really open the modem up anymore, at least not very easily. So I really wanted to stress the point that you want to get a tool like this or maybe a piece of sheet metal, something like this, something stiff enough to go through that ventilation slot on the side of the modem and push on those tabs to remove that as opposed to just simply prying on the bottom. Prying on the bottom will more than likely a good percentage of the time break these tabs and once you do that you won't be able to stand the modem up because as you probably have noticed the stand goes into these two slots. Once you put the stand on the whole modem is supported realistically by this piece and if this piece is not in the modem securely well then the modem's going to fall over. So that's the main thing I wanted to cover for this video. Uh, I will be making some other videos on other modifications you can do, but for now I wanted to make sure you folks were taking apart the modem correctly to make the kind of modifications you may be interested in doing. Thank you for watching this video. This has been Jim Ainge from Tech in the City. If you need any further information or parts or supplies or external antennas, please look at the links down below or send me an email and I'll be able to chat with you and uh, talk to you about your options. Thank you very much. Thank you.